When you think about your guys' lasting impact on the game, you know, all of these years that you've played and years after your career, when you walk into a locker room with guys who love basketball and they still get just as excited to see you, what does that mean for you guys? Does it make it all worth it for you? Absolutely. People always remember Baron, you know, these young kids who aspire to be professional ball players. They see a guy like him, you know, if Baron didn't have injuries, man, he was the best point guard I ever seen play. <laughs> Like seriously, man. He dealt man. with a lot of injuries. He's like, I mean, yeah, probably you right. He had, he had it all, man. Not he had it all. That's what's he saying. had it all, man. He could pass. He was athletic. Like you see these guards right now. You're saying the guards are more athletic now, and it's like, no, nah, y'all got to go back and YouTube this kid right here. Prototype guard that you're seeing now, he was one of the first. I wish I had somebody to sit next to me and praise me like that about something. I know, man. I'm like damn near about to have a heart attack. I'm like crying on the inside. <laughs> talk, it's true. Talk about Paul's impact on the game. Oh, man, that's easy. He has had a career that is going to be hard for anybody from our city or just, just anybody, period, to duplicate. You know, when you talk about the greatest players in the world, the greatest people to ever touch the court and to do something on our game. You know, you got to mention the truth. To see him go from high school to college to the pros, his ups and downs, know where he's from, know that he stays connected, you know, to his homeboys, know he stays connected to the community, everything he do for his school, you know, at Inglewood. I mean, you talk about, you know, the best player to come out of Los Angeles is Paul Pierce. You know, you start looking at, like, a lot of these L.A. guys who are coming up, you know, they come up, and that's the first name you mentioned is Paul Pierce, just from his legacy from high school. And then, you know, he went away to Kansas. Then he went to Boston, and they still love him in L.A. And he won a championship for the for Boston, Boston Celtics right, right. against the Lakers. They, they and they kinda, still love him. They, 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 they kinda, still love him. It's, 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 it's a weird relationship. That's how you know you're OG if that's they still like you. It's a weird relationship. That's how you know you Because I'm from so L.A., tough. played with Boston, beat L.A. You know, it's a weird relationship. I know you guys have a new campaign with Ben Gay going on. I'd love yeah. for you guys to tell me about it. What is it? Uh, we got together with Ben Gay to do a campaign called Soar Winners. Soar Winners, uh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, Soar Winners. Okay. So, you know, we had our battle scars and bruises and aches and pains throughout our uh, NBA careers. And so we thought it'd be dope to uh, partner up with Ben Gay and actually give the experience to guys our age that are weekend warriors and going through the same thing. Ben Gay's always been a part of my life. It's pretty much a lifestyle when you play professional so long. Aches and pains are a part of life. <laughs> I got a couple and, myself. You know, <laughs> you know, for the minor aches and pains that get you through, you know, those, those tough times where you don't want to wake up and lift the weights and go to practice. And, wow, and so when like, you don't want to go to practice, all you got to do is put Benga on and now man, you want to go to practice? Like bring you back I mean, to yeah, life. Bring you back to life. And get you going. Bring and you get back you to going. life. It's like, I don't want to go to work. It's, it's when you great, see yeah. dudes on the sideline at the <laughs> game, you know, doing that. I mean, you, you use get, it for you massages after yeah. the game because a lot of our soreness and our pains are going to be like in your knees, yep. your lower Hands, back. Strings, all that. It's, it's a great treatment for like after practice. And so if you want to get through a year, <laughs> be a sore winner. Be a sore winner. <laughs> next, next time I don't feel like coming to work, I'm gonna just throw in some. Man, that's what you need to do. Yeah. Just make me feel like coming in. Get you right. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, it works miracles. That's all I got for you guys. I don't really feel like going back to work. <laughs> but I'm gonna go put some bengue on. Maybe that'll make me yeah, feel like I'll going back right. to my desk. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys stopping by. <laughs> no doubt. Appreciate you. <laughs> Definitely.